Okay, in this scene we're going to talk about skid, and it's going to be represented by the skid marks that we see. So if you take a look at these three cars, these are going to represent the causes of skid, several causes of skid, and then we'll talk about the symptoms in skid. Okay, so let's take a look at each one of these cars. So here we see a den, a lion's den, and this den could sing. We saw this in the adenosine diaminase deficiency video. So adenosine diaminase deficiency is one of the causes of skid. And just a reminder, we saw in that video that it's autosomal recessive. Adenosine diaminase deficiency is autosomal recessive. And then we note this green car over here, and it has a rag under it. It even says rag on it. And the rag explodes to remind us of the rag mutation. Rag mutation is another cause of skid, as it leads to a VDJ recombination defect, represented by the red combination lock. Red combination lock for recombination defect. Then we note this car over here, with the I shoe, the I shoe, and the R. The I shoe R, I shoe R, for IL2 R, with gamma rays shooting out of them, for the IL2 R gamma chain. The IL2 gamma chain that's defective is another cause of skid. This, by the way, is actually the most common cause, and is X-linked recessive. Okay, now let's talk about the presentations in Skid. Okay, so these guys over here are watching the cars go flying on the road over here, and they're going to remind us of the presentations that we find in Skid. So first we note the grave to remind us of the failure to thrive. This grave is actually has a little bit of diarrhea to remind us of the chronic diarrhea. And if you look at his tongue, he's got that thrush that's characteristic of Skid. And we have the bacteria over here in purple, and this virus over here, and the fungus, and the parasite to remind us of the recurrent viral, bacterial, fungal, and protozoal infections. Okay, now let's talk about some lab findings in Skid. So this is kind of random, but under the scene over here, we have these things that just randomly fell down. I don't know where they fell down from, I don't know how, but they're going to remind us of some lab findings in Skid. So here we have this track over here, the tracks, the tracks for treks, and it's in a circle as treks stands for T-cell receptor excision circles. There's a decreased treks seen in Skid, and that's why it's going down. Another thing that goes down, that's, or that's decreased in Skid, is this Thai mouse. The Thai mouse, and he used to have a shadow on the grass over there. He used to have a shadow on the grass, and now the shadow is gone. The shadow disappeared to remind us of the absence of the Thai mouse shadow. The absence of the Thai mouse shadow. The absence of the thymus shadow. The thymic shadow seen on CXR. And this is, of course, associated with a decrease in T-cell count seen on flow cytometry. And, of course, there's going to be a decrease in B-cell count as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on Skid. Please leave your comments, be in touch. Alrighty, take care.